To me, Turkey is the most beautiful country in the world. Turkey is burning and it's spreading everywhere on the news and on social media right now that there are over 16 places in Turkey that are suffering from fires. But how did these fires happen? And I think it's very important to talk about this because so many people are not aware of that. There are investigations going on how and why this fire started, but even though wildfires are classified as natural disasters, most of the fires are actually caused by humans. Over 85% of wildfires in the past decade in the whole world were started by humans. Even though some of these fires were started intentionally, most of them actually were caused by accident. One of the main reasons why a fire starts in a forest is actually by campfires that were not looked after or not extinguished well enough. Also, fires can be caused by cars. Keep your car off dry grass. Remember if you're off-roading that your exhaust of the car can reach temperatures up to and more than 500 Celsius degrees. It's getting extremely hot. Many people are not aware of this, but if there's just a tiny spark of fire coming from your exhaust, then it can cause a fire that's spreading quickly in the dry nature. So what's the perfect base for fires that get out of control quickly? It's high temperatures, low humidity and fast winds. And that's exactly what we have here in Turkey in summers. So these high temperatures and an extremely dry vegetation makes it effortless for a campfire to spread into a blaze. To me, Turkey is the most beautiful country in the world. And to see these fires spreading in the south and destroying the nature, people's homes, animals are dying, is just heartbreaking. And this is not only happening in Turkey, it's happening in the whole world right now. There are things that we can do to prevent wildfires. First of all, do not make a fire in a forest. Do it in an open place. Stay with your fire and your fire should be cold to the touch before you're leaving it. I went camping a few days ago and people just left their campfire like open. The coals were still glowing and this is not okay. The only solution to that is by getting educated about the precautions that we can take. There are so many amazing and beautiful forests and natural places in Turkey. And after these fires, it takes years and decades for these places, these forests to regrow and to get their beauty back. The only way by protecting our nature, our home, is by looking at solutions. And the solution is not to look at whose fault is it, but actually to try to educate yourself, to make sure you are taking precautions when you are out in nature. On my YouTube channel, I started a series to travel to all 81 provinces in Turkey. And I'm doing these videos because I want to educate about Turkey. I want to show how beautiful Turkey is because this country has been my home for the last three years. In the past month I have earned around 3000 liras off these YouTube videos and this is not my job, I'm doing this in my free time. The least that I can do is to take this money off my YouTube videos that I'm doing for Turkey to give this back to Turkey and to donate this to a non-governmental organization called TEMA. Their goal is to protect Turkey's forests, to educate about nature, which is so important. This is number one actually. And also to a forest Turkey's nature. Today in all 81 provinces in Turkey, there is at least one forest that was created by Tema volunteers. And I decided for myself that I want to support this project, but there are also many other humanitarian organizations that need help during these days. There are so many people, volunteers and organizations out there that try their best to keep this whole situation under control. Without them, the number of the people who died the number of the homes that got destroyed and the forests that burned down would be a lot higher. If there's anything that you want to do to help, then it's spreading awareness or giving donations.